Welcome to Dump Site Maker. And this is Yolo Park Rhinox Quick Review. This is another epic kit from Yolo Park. The Transformers Rise of the Beast Rhinox. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more Dump Site Maker videos. Thank you. The Maximal Tech Expert. The second in command. Rooted in the original Transformers Beast Wars and one of the most iconic Transformers known by fans as Rhinox. The Maximal Warrior. Somewhere in time and space, Rhinox was among the Maximals left on their home when Unicron attacked. Making their way through enemy hordes, he and Cheetor meet up with their leader, Ape Link. The fellow Maximals, Optimus Primal and a Razor, who had just fended off several hostile new arrivals on the planet. As the situation grew dire, he witnessed Ape Link transfer leadership of the Maximals to Prime. As the former ordered them to retreat with the Trans Warp Key, all Rhinox and the other Maximals could do was watch from their ship a scourge overpower Ape as they entered the Trans Warp Bridge towards a prehistoric <sighs> Now, who is Rhinox? Rhinox is a rhinoceros based on the Rise of the Beast. He is the hard hit. He can demolish his opponents with his sheer strength. He is solid as a rock and the un unstoppable force of nature of the Maximals. Rhinox is a Maximal of few words and tends to let either his mighty hammer or his love of blowing through enemies in his rhino mode do the talking for him. However, in the original Beast Wars Transformers, his character circulates through a different approach and he simply does not base his whole identity through his physical prowess. The Rhinox I know is one of the most intelligent Maximals in his own right, a stalwart or loyal comrade and one of the most charismatic characters in the Beast Wars series. Finally, we are here to see the individual parts of the Yolo Park Rhinox. As you can observe, his maximized mode resembles Optimus Primal's model kit detailing. From the individual battle damage details molded within each part of this kit. Small bits are used to bulk some of those detailed parts that give this seamless approach upon building. The torso of Rhinox has been expanded proportionally, resembling its design themes. Heavy detailed pistons and their mass have been slightly enhanced to provide a better base for the other parts to connect to. Rhinox head sculptures portrays a humble side of his personality. His eyes are smaller in proportion, showing a gentle side, a calm personality as a friend but a dangerous force as a foe. We proceed to the weapon and this is the hammer, a meat tenderizer design that will surely destroy whoever tries to go on his way. He will indeed say, talk to the hammer. This part surprised me upon opening the box because these parts are not for Rhinox but for another Yolo Park model kit. His famous dual blasters, bladed weapons, and a singular axe are the weapons placed in here. What do you think? Should I review the Yolo Park Optimus Prime next? Comment down below. Let's relish the building process of this one-of-a-kind model kit by Yolo Park. The articulated leg parts have hollow points to provide space for the tiny parts when you bend them, a striking uniqueness to this kit. Ball joints and pegs are used to connect the pieces. This kit does not have any of the screwable parts, just like the Yolo Park skirts but undoubtedly maintained its solid stature after we finish building. The sliding gimmicks on the arms added with the hollow spaces for bending give the arms more than 96 degree bending angle. 
torso articulation is an upgrade to previously viewed kits. Its piston movements are visually pleasing because they are fully articulated and follow every bend you create. Let's continue connecting the pieces for more significant parts, moving gimmicks, articulation, and detailing parts. Returning with the added articulation from the waist, this differs from before. The details are astonishing. We are blessed to have this amazing one. The number of pistons locked within each part is a design effort to behold. Granted the immense bulkness and strong character this portrays. These legs are enormous and compact compared to, the, to my previous reviewed kits that pose a mechanical design. Rhinox legs are simply that of a rhinoceros-like. Let's finish the final touches by connecting these smaller pieces. It is time to build and see what the Yolo Park Rhinox has to offer us. The sturdiness of its neck part provides a sturdy connection, however, it prevents the movement from going any further. It can move from just a little bit upwards and downwards and very very little movement from left to right. However, it has another piece of articulation, forward and backward head movements, which I don't possibly know how to use or how to use that kind of gimmick. Comment down below. The shoulder piece is articulated and can go further as we go to its arms. However, this piston piece connected to the arms block the arm articulation from moving upwards. It prevents the articulation of Rhinox arm from stretching even further. Uh, let's rewind what I've just said just now. This arm position design is blocked by the shoulder pieces and collide colliding with each other preve and preventing any of these two pieces from going any further. Now, in the shoulder piece, there is another connected part whose purpose I cannot distinguish. It can swing upward and down. I'm guessing this piece is supposed to block the hollow parts when we pose the Yolo Park Rhinox. Its arm can rotate 369 degrees and has a decent arm bend. 96 degrees and further because of its sliding gimmick on its biceps. The whole arm can rotate and the hands and fingers are also fully articulated. In the torso part, we've seen this already, it can swing and rotate and has an ab crunch. This skirting armor is sturdy and on a ball joint which can go where a ball joint can take you. Legs have the most astonishing bends as you can see the pistons inside move independently when you articulate. Here, enforcing this leg to bend further. It also has a toe bend on its feet 
which is connected by a ball joint. Rhinox legs can rotate its legs but are black with the waist skirting armor. The leg part connected to its waist is the most articulated because Rhinox, even on his bulky stature, can perform side and front splits and go further with its double jointed articulation. Now, I will try to make a pose using the articulations of every Rhinox joints. As you can hear the crackling sounds it makes, just point out how sturdy or how solid this kit is. Just few more adjustments and we will see this one stand on its own. Let's go further and use some of the gimmicks we can do. This is Rhinox holding his weapon. Next is, this is Rhinox kneeling before the Gundam high grade RX-78 II origin version. Now this is him kneeling before the leader of the Maximals, Optimus Primal. By the way, I got curious, can Rhinox hold his hammer with both hands? And... Yes! Now for a quick size comparison, here is the Yolo Park Rhinox beside the high grade RX-72 origin version. Beside the real grade Gundam Mark II AEUG version. Beside the high grade Sinanju Titanium Finish. Besides the master grade Gundam RX-782 Origin version. Beside the Yolo Park Scourge. And finally, beside the Yolo Park Leader of the Maximals, Optimus Primal. What's stopping you from buying this kit? What I'm about to say to you might discourage you from buying Rhinox. This might be the most solid Yolo Park Transformers kit I have built, but its sturdiness is a double-edged sword which made this kit capable of having plastic dents due to its compact build and the way you put your force during its possibilities. However, if you're like me who just enjoy collecting these one-of-a-kind model kits, nothing is stopping you. You are the master of your own universe. You can bend time and space through your imaginations and with your money, you can enjoy your life as an individual of art and appreciation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you for another Dumpsite Mecha videos. Bye-bye.